Accurately tracking your profit is essential to your business, and we're gonna show you how to do it in Manage by Stats right now. Hey team, Justin with Managed by Stats. There's no shortage of software out there that shows your gross revenue minus your product cost. But what about the rest? I'm going to show you how additional expenses can be added to your Managed by Stats account to give you a much clearer picture of your profit. Okay, let's head over to the SKU section in the Products tab. This is where you're gonna be entering your product cost. Once we've synced all your products, the cost field will be empty and the inbound shipping unit will also be empty. You can bulk edit by clicking here, but I'm gonna show you how to do it on one product. Click on the pencil, scroll down to the bottom, and add your cost of goods sold here. Now I just wanna cover something here. Cost in this column, that is the manufacturing cost. The inbound shipping by unit, that is every cost you incur after it's left the factory. So that would be freight, duty, briberies for senators you have to pay off, stuff like that. Now let's go ahead and change the current cost from 495 to 565. We'll leave our inbound shipping cost the same. Let's click on save. And now you will see our cost is 565. But let's say you wanted to change the cost for a specific period of time. Go back into your pencil edit thingy, scroll down to the bottom. And for right now, what you can see is our cost from October 19th, 2020 until today is 565. But let's say our cost from October 19th to November 1st was something different. What you wanna do is click on that plus symbol, choose November 1st, and we'll put in our cost of say $6. Our inbound, we'll keep it at 25 cents. And what that does is it effectively makes the cost from October 19th to November 1st, $6, and our current cost will still be $5.65, which means that from November 1st until today's date, the cost is $5.65. So once we go and save, you'll see the cost is still $5.65, but in the statistics, that $6 cost will affect only the date range that you added. Now I'm gonna go into bulk edit because I want you to see what it looks like. Click up at the top where it says bulk edit, and that's gonna give you a list of all of your SKUs, and you can change them one at a time here. Let's go over these different save options because that's what's important. Save is gonna save from today's date forward. Save plus zero does two things. Number one is that anywhere where there's missing product cost, it's gonna fill it in with whatever number you just put in there. Number two is that it's going to set it from that date that you saved today, and go forward with that cost. The next one is save plus all. That's going to overwrite every cost you've ever had in there. So use that only if that's what you wanna do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Great. And now we exit the bulk editor. Exit the bulk editor by clicking on the button that says exit bulk edit. So that's that. Now we need to go into additional expenses. Click back. Go to profits, additional expenses. Now let me explain to you why we have this feature. And honestly, I'm surprised that there aren't a lot of other software out there that are doing this. If you have, let's just say you have an expense that was unexpected at customs, which has happened to me a couple of times, a few times, not important. And you need to know, okay, this batch of inventory has this additional expense of $1,000 or whatever. You wanna put that in there so that it reflects accurately in your profits. Conversely, if you wanted to track everything, every payment you make to a VA, every straw you buy for office iced coffee frappuccinos, you can do that. It's up to you. Now, when you're ready to add a cost, you just click the add button up here. But before we do that, remember, you can go as deep as you want into this. You can just add some unexpected customs fees, or you can do your ads, your payroll, photography. You can add every single possible expense that your business has, so you know precisely down to the penny how much you have. But for right now, let's just go ahead and add a bribery. All right, so there are a number of different ways that you can do this. You can go with a single day. So in the case of this bribery, which was today, and it costs us $25,000, unfortunately. 
Make sure you've got your currency set. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You can split this up. You can split it by the amount of products that you've sold, your sales revenue overall, by a brand, or even split it across each product. In this case, the bribery only applies to one product. We're gonna choose that product right down here. The FDA really gives us some trouble on this one, so this is a bribery for the somebody. I'm not going to tell you who we bribed. Once you've done that, scroll down, click on add, and there you go. $25,000 bribery for this product. Now, if we go into statistics and we sort it by product name, and we go to Aussie Power, and we scroll over to our additional expenses, you can see that our $25,000 bribery has been split evenly between the two Aussie Power products. Before we end off, I wanna show you one more thing. Let's just jump over to an Amazon payout real quick. We're gonna sort this by brand again, by statement period, and I just wanna show you how the money flows here. You've got your brands, all of your order information, any refund information, and then any additional expenses from Amazon. And then if you scroll down to the bottom here, this is your final transfer amount from Amazon to you. Now we get into our additional expenses, ads, costs, sales tax, and quite a bit of other information. And then this is your estimated profit right here. I hope you found this very enlightening, and I hope that your briberies go as well as mine did. Well, that about wraps it up for this one. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Managed by Stats does not support bribery unless you have children and you have to get out the door and your child will not put on his or her shoes. In that case, bribery is a perfectly acceptable method of trade or commerce and is in fact encouraged. Managed by Stats is not affiliated with bribery in any way. Managed by Stats does not have children. Managed by Stats is a company, not a real person. Therefore, Managed by Stats has no opinion about bribing children to put their shoes on so you can leave the house. And you've just listened to this disclaimer because we made you. Managed by Stats.